Okay, so we hear money does not buy happiness. How many times have you heard that statement before? Well, there's actually another side of that whole statement that no one really tells you. Here it is. Okay, so people say a lot of things about money. They say money cannot buy happiness. So does that also mean that the controversy is true? That money can buy misery? Well, in my personal belief and what I've seen for the most part, or even felt even for the most part, is that people believe money cannot buy happiness because money has bought the opposite. Money has bought them sadness and misery and stress and overwhelmed feelings and people don't like that usually. People don't like that and they associate money or too much money or a lot of money with bad, miserable, sad feelings. So one thing about wealth, especially if you have a lot of it, is that you have to focus not so much on the money. Money can buy only so many things for a reasonable price. Money can only buy so many things, but you have to keep in mind that money used properly can buy you happiness. It can buy you freedom. It can buy you whatever you want. It can buy you, I don't know, that amazing little thing that you've always wanted. But money will give you enough freedom to have a choice of how you want to spend that money because how you spend that money is what matters at the, at the end of the day. If you buy something that you cannot afford or something that will like bring you constant bills and constant misery from even owning or even having or even seeing, then yes, money misused or used improperly will buy you misery. And misery is not a very cheap thing and it is not hard to find either. You can find things that you cannot afford and because of things you can't afford come into your life, they bring you misery and sadness because you know they, they're these piling up bills for paying for it that you don't want to have. An example of how money can buy happiness is how you're able to just go out there, see something you want, and just instantly, without any question, any regard, any concern, purchase it and feel and experience the true happiness of having it, having it without experiencing the worries of actually owning it, actually maintaining it, actually keeping it, actually using it. You have to be able to actually use this stuff and have it as an asset in your life to feel like a better person, feel more wealthy. Wealth is not necessarily how much money you have. Wealth is also how well your other aspects in your life are. For example, your health, your happiness, your love, your relationships with others. All that stuff contributes to your wealth. So wealth is not necessarily a number on a check. It's not a number in a bank account. Wealth is how you feel at the end of the day when you have the things that you want. So a person who owns a Lamborghini, two people, one person's happy with it, they drive it every day, they have fun in it, another person who drives a Lamborghini, but they're so miserable wondering how much the next payment's gonna cost, how much maintenance is gonna cost this time, how much everything's gonna be this time around whenever like the next bill runs through. And that person is truly the poor person because even though they have a lot of money and enough money to afford a Lamborghini, they're not happy with the ownership of a Lamborghini. So it stresses them out and brings them more misery than they had in the beginning before they had a Lamborghini versus the person who doesn't care about the maintenance costs. They have enough wealth, enough money to support and sustain the wealthy costs, the, the high amount of maintenance costs, the associated costs with having a Lamborghini. I'm not saying that because the person has more money that they get to enjoy the Lamborghini more. I'm saying that because the person spent their money properly, knowing they could afford a Lamborghini, they're able and allowed to experience all of the good assets and you know areas that the Lamborghini will bring with them. So remember that money is not a number on a check, it's not a number to make account. And money can and it cannot buy happiness. All that matters is how you spend that money. In fact, here's a rule of thumb. If you think you can afford something, that means you cannot. Meaning you have to think that, oh, I can afford this if this happens. I can afford this if I cancel my health insurance. I can afford this if I sell this. I can afford this if I just work really, 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 really hard at my job. No. If you think you can't afford it, you can't afford it. If you think you can, no. If you just don't have any worry about if you can or can't, then you can't afford it. Okay? Well, that's my two cents for today, guys. I hope this video helped. If you like this video, I'd like a thumbs up would help. And if you have not already done so and you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell at the bottom to turn the notifications on to get more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.